Most of what we do in our lives is forgotten and leaves little trace on us. But sometimes the results of our actions leave an indelible stain which we're destined to wear forever. We'd all been mates in school, and we'd come up from Birmingham to study art at Liverpool Polytechnic. There was Jez, me, and Shirley. Shirley was an ex-football hooligan and a bit of a hard case, but I never saw him throw a single punch. He was the local pub quiz champion, and we'd have followed him to the ends of the earth, although we weren't always sure where he was leading us. Shirley had found us somewhere to live. It was a dump, but we weren't bothered. And last but not least, this is the lounge. If you're happy, we can sign the contract. What's that? Oh, that's Mr Gibson. He moved in earlier this week. Studying law by all accounts. Ah, so you must be the Brummies then. All right. All right. All right. That night, we went along to the Freshers' Ball. After a few weeks, the house looked like a bomb site. Nobody cleaned up, and no one knew how to cook. And the piss taking was relentless. Gibbo was mental, always pushing people's buttons. <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! You fucking bastard! Ow! Fucking hell, Jeff! <laughs> All right, lads. The wrench, too. Put some money for me, have you? <laughs> Sorry, lads. I'm a bit short this month. Hey? Oh, Shirley. Shirley was experiencing a temporary cash flow problem. We'll pay for you this month, Shirley. But you're gonna have to make it up to us somehow. Yeah. So what exactly are you gonna do about it, Shirley? There you go, lads. That's great, Shirley. Mm. To start with, the new arrangement worked out fine. But pretty soon, things started to unravel. Where's Shirley? Oh, here he comes. Where's my fucking tea, you pisshead? Piss off, Jez. I've had enough. 
I'm not going to be your kitchen slave anymore. We should have thrown him out there and then. But instead, we decided to have some fun at his expense. seemed to bother Shirley too much, so Gibbo decided to raise the bar. He always took things too far. Fucking hell, what's going on? <laughs> what's the matter, Shirley? <laughs> you got crabs! <laughs> hey! You dirty bastard! <laughs> Come on, that's enough for <laughs> That night, Shirley had an asthma attack, which brought on his bronchitis. The whole room reeked of Vic's vapor rub. He was in a bad way, all right, but we had no sympathy. For God's sake! Fucking shut up, Shirley! <laughs> He was ill for weeks, but as soon as he was well enough, he was off boozing again. Sure. Shirley hadn't paid us any rent for months. It was a serious problem for us now. He said he was skinned, but he always found money for things he wanted to do. Well, we're gonna break your spirit, Shirley. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do then, Gibbo? You wait and see. See you later, lads. He was driving us mad. Nothing we did made a blind bit of difference to him. He surely didn't care. Things couldn't go on like this. Something had to be done. It is now up to you to decide whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Has the jury reached a unanimous verdict? Yes, we have. The jury finds the defendant guilty of being a lazy, scrounging parasite. Guilty! 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 He was a stubborn guilty, bastard. Guilty, guilty, but I could guilty, tell things were starting to get to him now. Guilty! guilty. A girl from fashion called Rosa was having a party. Shirley really fancied Rosa, and Gibbo knew it. Do you know why he's still here? We should have chucked him out ages ago. Scrounging bastard. 
He's not even a mate of ours now, is he? Was he ever? Oh, shit. Better go after him. Boy, Shirley! Come back! Shirley! Where's he going? This wasn't meant to happen. Shirley was invincible. Or so he thought. I could have taken anything from him. <laughs> so long as I thought we were still mates. We are still mates, you soft twat. We were just messing about, that's all. Shirley, look, we're sorry. Forget about the rents, okay? We woke up next morning feeling shell shocked. All right, lads, who got lucky then? Um, Gibbo, we need to talk. What's all this about? Look, Gibbo. I don't think Gibbo quite believed what had happened. He tried to kill himself. And he certainly wasn't ready to forgive and forget. Threw himself off a bridge? Yeah, all right. Scared the life out of us. Shirley was back in the money, it seemed like the whole thing had blown over. Easy as that, Gibbo. <laughs> Except that Gibbo wouldn't let it go. Come on then, Shirley. When are you going to pay us back? You'll get your money. When exactly? When I've got it OK. No, it's not OK. We need our money back now, don't we, lads? Look, Gibbo, I told you before, it's over and done with. Jez and me aren't bothered about the money. <laughs> are you serious? Jez, are you going to let him get away with it? What's a few quid between friends? Fucking brummy weirdos. Some nights, I can still hear the whistle blowing and see Shirley standing there, ready to jump from the bridge. Shirley, our mate, who we harassed and humiliated and stupidly pushed to despair. Yeah! 